welcome to web style press if you are new here consider subscribing and hit bell icon as a react js developer have you encountered such error like type error cannot read property map of undefined map is not a function map is not defined without exception every react js developer makes this mistake that is trying to display some data without confirming whether it is available or not. Whenever you fetch data or call an API to display record in React.js components, always make sure that data is stored in state. React.js is component-based library. In React.js app, components get mounted and unmounted in DOM. If a component that makes an API call gets mounted in DOM, it will take some time for API call to be processed and for resulting data to be available to display in component. Although this time is in fractions of second, but it's enough for component to throw a warning or error that it could not find the requested data. Solution is simple. Let's say it practically. This is starter React JS project created by using create react app. Let's make an API call and display records. First of all, start the app. Right click git bash here. Yarn start. Okay, so this is our app. Just displaying this text at the moment. We will need to import use state and use effect from React. Import We will need API. We will use JSON placeholder. Let's use users API. Users API has got records and each record has got ID and a name. And this is what we need. Copy this URL. Const URL. We will use fetch to make API call. fetch URL dot then and we will need state to store records that we are fetching from this API. const data set data use state this use state was used now let's use this use effect
inside use effect we will store data in state in this variable so this request data then data then set data data Let's display records now. Data dot map data. And here is data dot name. We will also need key. Key will be data dot ID. From data we are extracting ID and name. And this data is coming from this state. And here is this error. Type error cannot read property map of undefined. Basically, use effect runs after the first render is complete. In first render, we did not have the data. Use effect has got logic, logic to fetch data and store it in state. But use effect runs after component is displayed and we cannot avoid use effect because all effects must be used in use effect. So here is the problem. There are few different ways to solve this problem. One of those ways is to use initial value. Use empty array and use state right here. Use this empty array. In this case, in first render of component, react.js will see data as an empty array instead of undefined dot map this data will be empty array rather than undefined and as you can see records are being displayed now if i refresh the page those errors have gone So use empty array in use state. If you don't want to use this, then another solution is to use conditional rendering. If we have data, only then render it. Use inline if else with conditional operator like this. Condition question sign true 
otherwise false in other words data question sign or in case of string like this or null or or loading all above are same all of these are same to apply such logic we will have to change our JSX a little bit so data question sign in other case null save and you can see the records here refresh the page and no more errors instead of null you can also use this or loading just text loading this text will be displayed until this thing is available when it will be available then it will be displayed and this loading text will disappear or instead of just this text loading you can create a loader component and display that here as well in case you have got a loader component you can use a component here like this and if this method is a bit tough there is an even more easy way to do it use inline if with logical and and operator like this data and 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 then here will be the logic this is also an if statement it says if data is present then proceed so our code becomes like this I will comment this data and 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 now this question sign will go and this null will also go data and 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 then rest of the logic is same save refresh no errors you can optimize this code further like this it will also work save and it is working this is easier you can use any method if you use these two ways of conditional render you won't need to use empty array in use state like we did earlier 
बट कीप इन माइंड इफ कंडीशन बिकम टू कम्प्लेक्स और सम लॉजिक इज रेपिटेटिव इट्स अ गुड आइडिया टू यूज अ सेपरेट कंपोनेंट फॉर दैट और यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज ए सिंक अवेट दैट आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इन प्रीवियस टूटोरियल इन फैक्ट दिस टूटोरियल इज बेस्ड ऑन ए गेस्ट रिक्वेस्ट ही आस्ड अबाउट मैप अनडिफाइंड इशू सो आई हैव क्रिएटेड दिस टूटोरियल आई विल शो यू कोड फॉर माई ओल्ड टूटोरियल दिस इज द कोड फ्रॉम ओल्ड टूटोरियल in this we are using use state use effect and in use effect we used get data async get data and this is our api and we are using fetch and we stored data here in state and then we displayed it no conditional render here but we used this empty array here so for me it was working perfectly fine as i can show you that i will stop the previous app by using control c i will close this terminal this is the old code i will use git bash and yarn start and as you can see results here but if i remove this empty array from the old code refresh the page and as you can see the same error so in our guests case he may be using different code maybe class based components maybe he did not use empty array in state in case of use state or there can be any other reason but make sure few things make sure data is in form of array make sure to use empty array in use state make sure to use conditional rendering choose this method or this method as you like make sure you check data availability before you render it and you can read more about conditional rendering from react js docs as well conditional rendering and the old tutorial was related to async await this one async await fetch i will link this tutorial in video as well Okay give this video a like subscribe to channel and press bell icon this will help the channel and motivate me to create more videos stay tuned and i will see you in the next video